precise island-based deterrence against Chinese naval expansion. France's VMAX is a maneuverable re-entry vehicle that could lead to an EU-wide hypersonic strike force. India is developing both cruise and ballistic hypersonic capabilities, a two-pronged strategy to counter China and Pakistan. So, you know, the lessons learned are now fueling the HATCM program. Air launched, maneuverable, and reportedly able to hit hardened targets, though honestly some Western sources do question its true hypersonic nature. It's America's future frontline hypersonic strike option in the Indo-Pacific. Designed for regional dominance, especially targeting you. Even the most advanced missile shields may not stop it. The ultimate first strike weapon. Capable of striking Guam and even Hawaii with hypersonic glide precision. Capable of global strike in under 60 minutes. HTV-2 demonstrates the future of U.S. prompt global strike missions. Hypersonic weapons are no longer the future, they're the present, with speeds that honestly defy comprehension and capabilities that are, well, reshaping war, these missiles are rewriting the rules of military power. But with every advancement comes risk. The margin for diplomacy narrows when warheads move faster than decisions. So, which missile do you think is the most dangerous in the world right now? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and hey, don't forget to subscribe for more global military deep dives.